When I started making comics, uh, it was the mid-90s, and at that point, uh, the comic book industry and the book industry were largely these two separate entities, you know, with their own distribution systems, their own sets of stores. And as a cartoonist coming up in that kind of environment, you don't think about things like National Ambassador for Young People's Literature. We were still fighting to get people to recognize comics and graphic novels as literature. Uh, and now, you know, uh, 20 years later, things have just gone 180. I, I think it's amazing. Every ambassador picks something that they want to talk about. For me, my platform is Reading Without Walls. Reading Without Walls is about how books can help us um, bridge to places that we may be uncomfortable. You know, I, I really want to encourage kids to read outside of their comfort zone. I grew up reading superhero comics. I started collecting superhero comics when I was in fifth grade. And, and to get to work on Superman, who is the first superhero, you know, he's the the character that set the tone for the entire genre, that established the genre, is just, it's been a phenomenal experience. The thing that resonates with me about Superman um, is the fact that he is an immigrant. So Superman isn't just the prototypical superhero, he is also the prototypical immigrant. He came from another culture, a lot of his, um, a, a lot of the pathos behind that character is that, you know, he loves America, but he still longs for this home that he barely knows. And, and I think, as the child of an immigrant myself, that, I, that really resonates with me as well. One of the most gratifying responses that I get from American-born Chinese is, is children of immigrants, regardless of where their parents are from, coming up to me and telling me that they resonated with that book. That even though we have two different cultural backgrounds, they felt a lot of those same emotional realities. And, and I think that is, like that's more than an author can ask for, right? Is somebody reading your work thoughtfully and resonating with it. Well, I was part of the online program. Uh, I did my master's in education with an emphasis on online teaching and learning. Uh, I graduated in 2003, and when I graduated, I felt like I learned a ton. You know, that program, at the time especially, was cutting edge. There really was nothing else like it, and uh, I felt like what I did in that program really informs what I do today. So for instance, the final project that I did in, in that program was actually on comics and education. Uh, I did some research on how comics have been used in education. Uh, the, the concepts that I learned there, I'm still using today, especially since I'm actually now teaching online through Hamlin. My name is Jean Luen Yang. I am a graphic novelist and I'm a pioneer. <laughs>